Hello all, welcome to channel Tech Tutorials Learn by Doing. In this channel, we post tutorial videos on tools and technologies that are being used in IT industry. This tutorial series covers tutorial on Amazon Web Services, also known as AWS. So, let's get started for the day. In this video, we'll learn about S3. S3 is the storage service provided by AWS that is used to store our data for the purpose of backup, sharing with other or any other purposes. In this tutorial, we'll upload our files, which is also called object to the S3. We'll retrieve it from remote location. We'll delete some file and recover them. We'll upload one JSON data and retrieve its content in CSV form. So let's head ahead for the tutorial. For tutorial, I'll go to services and type S3 here. Before uploading our files, which is also called objects, we have to create one bucket. Bucket is the container that holds S3. So let's keep bucket name here. It should be unique throughout the world and it should follow naming convention such as it should not contain species or uppercase letter. Take tutorial bucket. Leaving all the settings as default. Let's enable bucket versioning. If you enable bucket versioning, then the files will be prevented from accidental deletion or modification. If you upload same file with modified content, then it will be replaced if we disable the bucket versioning and it cannot be recovered but if we enable the bucket versioning then the previous version of file can be recovered so let's leave all setting as default and create our bucket bucket has been created you can see the messages also so let's cut it we can see here it is the bucket and there is not any files or folders present here so let's upload one click on upload click on add files and click on my images open let me head ahead and upload it's been uploading it is uploaded successfully let's close it Click on the image, copy ST URL, copy object URL, and paste here. We can see that although the bucket has been created and the image has been uploaded, it's still not accessible. This is because due to the permissions that you have given. So let's head ahead to the permission edit it and we enable the public access by on ticking block all public access and save changes let's confirm it confirm it the changes has been reloaded the public access setting has been enabled so let's refresh again we can see that it's still not accessible it is because although the bucket has been made public, the object or file inside it is not public. So let's make that also public. Let's go inside the bucket. Let's click on the file and on permission, edit public access. Click on the public access. Let's click on the both and save changes. I understand that it will change the setting. Let's save changes and it has been reloaded. So let's refresh it again. So we can finally see that it's been accessible. Let's try it in next incognito window. 
Did you chew? Now it's been accessible. Let's refresh it again. Yeah, it's been accessible. And we can see that the content is of auto scaling group. So let me again upload another file with same name and see what happens. Let it be at is it auto scaling group and upload again. Add files. Inside version, same name but different content. Let me upload it and on permission for this time, let us make it public while uploading. Grant public access. I understand it and let it hit with the upload. It is uploaded successfully. Let us refresh the incognito window. We can see that the content is changed to AWS Lambda. We had here previous one, it was of auto scaling group, but we accidentally upload another file with same name and we saw that the content it got replaced. So versioning it enable us to record those previous content. So let's back ahead back to the bucket. Take tutorial and so versions we can see that there was previous version also so let us try to download it and see if it is previous version or the new one s3 s3 test data let me download here with the folder as downloaded Keep the image old image. And open it. We can see that there is old content of auto scaling group. And here we have new content of Lambda. So we recover the file that was accidentally modified. So let's try to delete it also. Click on the disable so version. Click on the my images and delete DLP delete let's head down and delete the object we can see that it is successfully deleted we cannot see any files or folders here but we if we enable so version then we can see that there are old file this is for the first file we have uploaded this is the second file that is modified and it is the delete marker so we can recover it from here so let's download it new image click it and we can see that it is recovered successfully so now let's head ahead and upload some files in it and query it let upload the course content we can see that data is id name and description so let me upload this take so version upload add files let's head back and course content let's upload it here upload we can see that the object is uploaded successfully for this we should not view it by publicly but we want to view the content of file in the url itself so let's click on it and on action query with st select our original data is csv separated and it is not any compressed file and we want the output as csv with comma separated so let's run the query. We can query the data. 
that is in csv files and we can see that the data is as original there are four data it shows top five record if you download this result then it will be all read all the data let's go to the formatted tab and see here the top five data let me verify ec2 load balancer auto scaling lambda so it's showing top five data since we have limit five here so let's keep limit 15 and validate if it returns all result or not let's run the query go here we can see that there are all eight datas that we had present in the original file we can see here at is it we can also view the csv file output in json form so let's run the query again and see data you can see that but it may be not relevant to us this json form but nevertheless we can view it and for the csp output also we can specify other delimiter so let's view it let's view as tab delimiter run the query and see the result it is separated by the tab the two fields are separated by the tab and let's specify other delimiter also as we desire custom delimiter and this time let's keep us five delimiter and run the query you can see that the output will be separated with five now let us again upload another file with session content let me open the subject in notepad plus plus you can see that there are three session files with field id and value one two three and with field aws subject and data as aws python and database we'll upload this and we'll query this json content with ST select as we query the database so let's upload add file subjects it's json file and upload can see that it is uploaded successfully so let's query it subject addition action query with ester select we can even query the json data so format it json format and we want those output as csp and let's keep the limit as limit 10 and run the query You can see that in our original file there were three data id 123 id 13 and field subject with value aws python and database so it's been verified with the query also we can view it in original json format also let's run the query and we can view the ocean file also so this for the today guys if you like my videos give like button and subscribe to my channel so that will be notified on future tutorials thank you